Hello friends, I am DJ Doshi. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand or classify the different machine tools. We will discuss about the construction of the lathe machine. So what are the content in this uh, video? Introduction to machine tools, classification of machine tools so, and then principle and construction of the basic machine that is lathe machine. So introduction to the machine tools, these are the machines used for carrying out metal cutting processes and surface finishing processes. So we require so many uh, material to be so much material to be removed to get the desired dimensional spare part or desired dimensional part. So according to dry, dry, drawing, if you want to carry out certain process, material removal from the given raw material, then we require this cutting processes, metal, metal or non-metal cutting processes and of course surface finish according to the requirement is to be generated. Each machine can carry out one or more than one type of processes that is there. These are power driven machines used for making the component of desired shape, size, accuracy, surface finish by removing the material, by removing the material, maybe on the surface, maybe on the uh, along the circumferential surface, maybe from the uh, to reduce the length of the component or certain dimensions uh, machining or preparation of certain part of the given dimensions, it is required to remove the material. These machines use different types of cutting tools to remove the material. So these are the basic uh, classifications or how the machines are classified. First thing, metal cutting machine tools and surface finishing machine tools. So in case of metal cutting machine tools, we can remove more material or we can remove the more material from the surfaces or circumferential parts or as per drawing, we can uh, go for machining uh, like uh, lathe machine, drilling machine, milling machine, shaping machine and so many type of machines are there. Now it is again um, new machines are there which are run, which are run on the computers. Uh, programming. So, lathe machine, drilling machine, milling machine and shaping machine are the main metal cutting machine tools. Then regarding surfacing, surface finishing machine tools, we can't remove more material but we can carry out as per name indicates, we can carry out finishing operation where polished surface or super polished surface or finished surfaces are required. We can use this surface finishing machine tools like grinding machines it removes the material in terms of microns that is one upon a thousand of a millimeter. So some microns of material will be removed to get the desired finish or required finish, surface finish. Then honing machine, if you want to remove the material from the inner area of the uh, cylinder or if you want to finish that surface or if you want to go for a repair of that surface which is damaged in case of a cylindrical surface, inside surface, then we are using honing machines. So usually cylinder blocks are carried out with the honing. Then grinding for shafting, we can go for surface grinding or for uh, different types of plates which are very, uh, which have very high finish. Then we can carry out grinding. Lapping machine again it is uh, still less material will be removed. Uh, then polishing machines, these two machines that is lapping machine and polishing machine uh, remove the least material. So when we want to go for lapping or polishing, we must keep almost nil material. Only the finishing of the surface should be carried out. Now principle and construction of the lathe. In the lathe machine, the workpiece to be machined is held firmly and rotated about its axis. Then the cutting tool is moved relative to the workpiece that is parallel to the axis or perpendicular to the axis or angular to the axis. The cutting tool is made up of harder material than the workpiece. The cutting tool removes undesired material from the workpiece in the form of the chips to give desired shape and size. So these are some of the uh, machining processes can be carried out. As I told you, this is a tool travel is parallel to the axis. So it is removing the material along the circumferential surface of the workpiece. So it will go on reducing the diameter. We will be removing the material radially but diameter will be reduced by double of it. If you remove 0.5 mm of material uh, from the uh, radially by the tool 
then the diameter will be reduced by 1 mm. In this case, the workpiece is rotating along its own axis and the tool will be moving parallel to the axis. Now, in this case, if you observe, if you, it is shown here, cutting tool is moving perpendicular to the axis in this direction. Okay. This is workpiece holding to us, maybe a chuck, then workpiece is rotated along its own axis at the required RPM depending upon the material diameter and depending upon the type of material or machinability of the material, the RPM is decided and the tool type is also decided. So, here the material removal is removal from the face, so it will reduce the length of the workpiece. This length will be reduced. Suppose 1 mm of material is removed, the length of the uh, workpiece will be reduced by 1 mm. Now, in this case, you observe this is a taper turning or angular uh, tool travel. Now, the tool travel if you observe this is angular to the axis of the lathe or axis of the workpiece. So, the conical generate, uh, conical surface will be generated or conical shape will be generated here. So, this is depends, this depends on the movement or uh, movement of the tool whether it is perpendicular, angular or parallel to the axis of the workpiece or axis of the lathe. So, this is the lathe machine. So, the main elements in this machine are headstock, tailstock, feed drive and the carriage. So, if you observe here, this part is called as the headstock. So, what are the contents in the headstock? So, this is a spindle here till this length, this is a spindle which is mounted in the headstock between the bearings. There are two bearings, one bearing is here, another bearing at this end and the spindle is given drive by certain driving mechanism, maybe directly with the gears or maybe directly by the belt. So, the motor and the driving mechanism will be at the back side of the lathe. So, this is spindle on which the tool, the work holding devices are devices mounted. So, this is a chuck in which we will be holding the work piece. Okay. Now, when we start the motor, when we start the driving mechanism or motor, the spindle will start rotating. The RPMs of the spindle will be decided that spindle seed selectors. This is like a this is uh, this is actually the gear driven lathe and in this headstock there is different gear trains. When you go on shifting the lever or we go on ch changing the position of the lever, different types of gear and different number of teeth gear will be meshing with each other and accordingly the speed will be changed, spindle speed will be changed. So, the speed of the chuck or speed of the spindle depends on the diameter of the workpiece, the material to be removed, the finish which is required, then the type of the material and type of the tool. Okay. So, this is about the headstock, this is a tail stock. So, this has, this is a tail stock spindle, this is a tail stock body, this is tail stock locking nut and this is mounted on the bed wedge. This is mounted on the bed wedge. One of the bed wedge is of V type and another is flat, so that there will not be perpendicular movement to this face. So, it will travel only along the axis of the lathe, along this line. Okay. Now, in this spindle, more stepper is there in which we can place the uh, different types of centers, maybe ball bearing center, maybe a dead center or sometimes if you want to carry out a drilling operation at the center along the axis, then we can place the drill in it and you can carry out the drilling, but limitations are only along the axis at the center. Okay. So, this is the use of tail stock and what for this dead center or live centers are there? To support the work piece, now see the work piece we are holding in the chuck, the work piece we are holding in the chuck. So, if it is of a more length, if it is of more length. During cutting operation, it may happen that that will be lifted, that will damage the machine, that will damage or break down the tool and it is hazardous to the person who is working there. So, it is to be supported from the front side, so that it will not be lifted during machining. So, that is the use of the tail stock. Now, this is the carriage, which is made up of different parts. So, this is called apron or apron box. This is a saddle. This has a V groove at one side, at another side there is a flat surface, so that there will not be perpendicular movement to the uh, axis of the lathe, only there will be, when we will move the carriage with the help of this carriage wheel, it will travel parallel to the axis, always 
the carriage will travel parallel to the axis with the help of a, a gear mounted on this and a racket, ra racket, ratchet or rack pinion arrangement is there. So, this will make to move the carriage towards the headstock or towards the tail stock. On this saddle, there is a cross slide. Again, there is a cross slide wheel which operates the cross slide. When you rotate this either in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction, the travel of this cross slide will be perpendicular to the axis of the lathe. Okay. So, with the help of carriage, we can carry out turning operation because it is parallel to the axis and with the help of a cross slide, we can carry out the facing operation because this movement of the tool will be perpendicular to the axis. Above this cross slide, there is a compound slide on which the tool post is mounted. Compound slide is used sometimes for taper turning and sometimes for uh, applying uh, the less material to be removed. Okay. And this is the tool post, always the tool post will be along uh, on the same line of the axis of the lathe and the tool is mounted in this tool post which is used for cutting the material. So, apron, saddle, cross slide, compound slide, tool post and tool post locking nut. This is the tray to correct the material removed in it, the material removed and these are the bed weights or bed, this is the bed on which the total assembly is mounted and there is a feed drive mechanism by changing these levers position, we can change the feed given to the machine which will make this rot this lead screw to rotate at higher or lower rpm. Lower will be the rpm compared to the spindle, more better will be the finish you will be getting. Slower the speed of this lead screw, uh, faster the uh, speed of the lead screw will give the coarse finish. So, this is controlled by the help of a feed drive mechanism. So, this is about the construction of the lathe.